Well, I mean, you're fine, right? <laughs> well, you're you're not right. <laughs> <laughs>
take my phone out then and just realize, wait a minute, he has a phone, I'll just text him. <laughs> yeah. Let me, let me try that first. Uh, Giratina might have planned for a Zygarde, need help, Cresselia Darkrai in on it. Uh, um. please come talk. Hashtag love you. <laughs> yeah. In Dream World, I'm sure you can find me better than I can find you. Hashtag Dream World. Hashtag you, Am I you, Right. Hashtag. You, hit, you hit the send button, and like you are enveloped with a bunch of light as it like shoots vertically out of the tree, like into the cosmos. <laughs> like okay. And then you hear a prayer has been sent. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I could get used to this kind of prayer. <laughs> After a few short minutes, you hear like this otherworldly shriek and like like darkness emits over Dream World as like the sound of horror and cacophony comes slamming back into the tree, and you hear like a bass line dun 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 off lobbies. I was just imagining more lobbies. Oh my god! Hi, I'm Lavi. Hi, I'm Lavi. Hi, I'm Lavi. There's like, stop. Hi, I'm Lavi. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. And like, you know, the like Lord of the Rings, dun 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 dun, as the orcs are coming and materializing from shadows. Hello. Nice to nice to see you. Uh. uh not used to not having you around. <laughs> <laughs> he gives a he gives a, a a smile as his like face thing reveals like his mouth. He's about at like half of his normal size, and he just nods and like you guys start to walk out. <laughs> Yay! Stuck, it's stuck in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there. I know there are Dream World sprites that are different. There we are. Hi, I'm Lavi. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, I'm Lavi. <laughs> Stop. There we go. Oh, that's great. That's good. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, Giratina emerges and starts stretching up high, and he looks down. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret doing this, but he looks back down at you guys. Greetings. I like that voice. <laughs> I know you do, but that, like, that voice fucking hurts after a while. Well, I'm we'll, sure we'll... it does, but it's yeah. great. Great voice. Thank you. I understand you have questions about the cosmos. Uh, some. Yeah, uh, mostly we're thinking about potentially solving our problem with, um, with this. And, uh, I pull out the broken GS ball and the parts of it, and I say, we need a way to repair it to fix the little issue we're having with the other god killer. Mm, it is a shame that he left when he did. I was looking forward to our combat. Big <laughs> pussy! <laughs> I was too, to be honest. <laughs> have a congress of gods here. Uh, what would you like to ask? Actually, what we need to know is how do we restore the magical properties of the GS ball if I can repair the, the rest of it? Because okay. I'm gonna. my plan is to fix it, and but I know it can't be fixed by just... Mechanical means it has a supernatural element to it, so I need to understand it better so I can repair it. All right. We thought somebody would know something. Or we can ask him how to defeat Zygarde. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, there are two GS balls in existence at any given point. One in the dream world and one in the nightmare realm. You had the nightmare GS ball. I am sorry. Yeah, I'm just dropping that shtick right now. So yeah, he explains, okay. there's two GS balls. You guys had the GS ball from the nightmare timeline. Die, X, because you're wandering away from us. Uh, better? Yeah. yeah, much better. And he, yeah. he explains to you that he gave you the one from the nightmare timeline. Um, he explains that he got that GS ball. Uh, he actually wrestled it from the grasp of Nightmare Luna and Nightmare Lavi. Okay. Ooh. And uh, he brought it to you guys, thinking that you might be able to do something about it. The current GS ball in the Dream Realm is on top of Mount Tyrant, and it is being guarded by 
uh, the will of Victini and his shadows. The shadows are created by a source of light, which then are impeded by other objects. He says the Mars shadows of Utopus are the guardians of the GS ball. They are what's known as the trial masters. Hmm. In order to get the GS ball naturally, you need to pass their trials. Uh, hold on. You said you said the GS ball is at the top of Mount Tyron? Yes. I, I lived at the top of Mount Tyron. I don't recall seeing any bloody ball up there. He looks at you and says... He's <laughs> what about me? <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, this is this, uh, this is actually good. This will add to it. Believe me, because Lavi is part of this. No, he I says, just like the idea of Giratina going. Huh? What? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> no. Can't looks, tell a story, Dickhead. <laughs> he looks at you and says, oh. "What you thought might have been the top of Mount Tyrant really was only what you perceived as. You were oh, nowhere well. near the top." You don't think a smelly human like you would actually get to the top of the mountain, do you? <laughs> it wasn't the peak. It wasn't the peak of the entire mountain, so I guess there was more going up. I didn't go to the very top. Got up smelly. It's like it was the <laughs> highest cave on the on the entire mountain. That's where Mama lived because she was like the alpha dragon of the area. I guess there might be, there must have been more up at the top of the mountain. I don't know. I didn't. I never went up. Mama told me never to go up to the top of the entire mountain. He says it's not that they told you not to go up, it's that you probably could not go up. The only way you can go Um, up I'm a pretty good climber! <laughs> oh my god, just eat him. Just eat him. <laughs> Most of the time... Right, we're going there now! I'm gonna climb to the top because I'm gonna prove I can do it! <laughs> I'm kidding. Most of the time, to get to the top, you need to possess the light of victory. And the light of victory the only known source of the light of victory that is passed out are to the winners of the Pokemon League. Oh. Oh, scale. Oh. I hate you. <laughs> yeah. The, the world is at stake right now. Are we going to have time to, to do all that? There are perhaps other methods. And at that point, Cresselia perks up and she says, well, we are the queen of dreams and the lord of nightmares perhaps we can find a workaround she looks at scarlet and says perhaps you could help them get through it i do that she looks at you like holds out her hand as the back of yours burns brightly okay you are the queen of <laughs> dreams and the queen of ambition if you so desired there is nothing that can stop you oh Cool. <laughs> <laughs> also, out of my head. <laughs> By the way, you should stop making life out of nothing. That's pretty bad. You're breaking. <laughs> <laughs> you also, if you, could, if you could stop manifesting things out of, you know, ruining the, the order of nature, I really appreciate it, actually. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's funny. Well, you're not, you're not right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Essentially, what you have discovered is at the top of Mount Tyrant is the GS Ball. If you win the Pokemon League, you get a doohickey that lets you get up there. Uh, although, you are Team Fresh Floof, so there might be ways you can muscle past it. They're totally gonna cheat, yeah. Cheating, it's just thinking of a different way. Well, I, I, I guess the only way we can really tell is if we go there and see what's barring our way. Alright, use your powers and take us there. <laughs> oh do you want happiness in your life? <laughs> well, we don't sell that! Cute jellyfish plushies! Now on sale at LoadingCrewCrafts.com Use the coupon code HAPPINESS for 10% off your total order. This episode is brought to you by Nomura the Rogue Jellyfish Plush. Use the coupon code LCCGAME for 10% off your total order at LoadingCrewCrafts.com no, I'm right. do, you, do you have no other questions for them? Like you got like, this is I I am what I am letting you ask things. <laughs> Where's uh, Victini? <laughs> yeah, where is Victini then? Like it's I back thought it was on the I thought he was on the mountain. He's guarding the GS ball, isn't he? Or would he uh, be up there as well then? Uh, they think for a minute, and they shrug, and admit, we don't know. Oh. Nobody knows where Virginia is, do they? 
So, what kind of thing is stopping us from going up the, the mountain? Is it like a magical it's... barrier, or is the it just... The dark Rai perks up and says, The shadows of the mountain, either through force or guile or trickery, prevent the unworthy from going up. You have to be considered, yeah. Yeah. It's probably the a mixture of Marsh Shadow and I'm assuming some sort of like blockade barrier type deal. If you carry the light though, they let you pass, you can get through and it all Yeah, my my, my problem is while we can do that, it, it seems like a lot to do before the year's up. It it, it does, but I mean at the same time uh... So we either do that or we Try to ring in all the legendaries to maybe fight Zygarde, because, I mean, do we even know how to stop Zygarde? Not per se. I mean, unless unless they understand how to restore the aura for the GS ball that we have broken here, because I could p probably still fix it. We have a couple backup plans that we could use. Here, Tina, how do we stop Zygarde? You could let me at him. <laughs> we already got one ready to fight. Why not? Well, bring I, I, bring I, him to uh, yeah. Bring him to my realm, and I will see that he is devoured. Oh, easier to fight. <laughs> well, let's call let's call that Plan C. No problem. That's a good backup plan, but we're gonna keep on thinking of stuff. <laughs> I would rather I'd rather avoid to risk anybody else being hurt before we result to fighting. But it is a match I would like to see as myself as well. I understand the sentiment. <laughs> yeah, Dark Rai perks up and warns warns you. Most of the legendaries throughout the universe all have specific duties, whether it to be uh, bulwarks or champions of nature or rulers of realms, as she points around. Like, Cresselia and I are among the top of the gods because we rule the realm of dream and nightmare world. Giratina is one that rules the distortion world and the afterlife. Most of us have our own thralls, but there are two exceptions to the rule. Victini, champion of man, and Zygarde, champion of Pokemon. Gotcha. Both of them, their duties are to counteract those who go against the will of Arceus. So, our best bet is actually to find Victini and to harness the power of victory to beat Zygarde. That'd be the most for sure thing. Seems that way. Maybe. Alterna <laughs> Alternatively, we could go all, you know, Godzilla, let them fight, and then see who wins. Hell yeah! <laughs> no. I mean, I'm not opposed to the idea, it's just we, we want a little bit more muscle in our back corner, don't we? Giratina sp uh, perks up. Uh, there is another <laughs> way. Perhaps, okay. throughout most of time, I have considered no one my friend, and I was never... An, al an ally of humans until you guys showed up and now I have no desire perhaps your str unique human element could convince Zygarde otherwise you're being oddly optimistic well you're not right <laughs> <laughs> no I'm impressed very impressed uh, Scarlet's sort of friends with Zygarde apparently <laughs> Well, he was my puppy friend until he tricked me and stuff, so... Well, if you can convince him that what he's doing is bad, crazy, and wrong, and just plain stupid to a sense, maybe that would work. Uh, doesn't mean I'm not gonna spend the next year setting up plans A, B, and C, though. Let's call that one plan D. Okay. Hey. So yeah, essentially, stop Zygarde. You can use GS Ball proper. You can use... GS improvised, Godfight, befriend, befiend. befiend. We already befiend. We already befiended. And of course, there's always solutions that I may have not mentioned. Like for the most part, yeah, Zygarde is you know like Megami has been saying, it's nature. But I'm kind of flipping it on its head because I like to do that. that makes sense. Thing. But yeah, so, but that's my idea. One, restore the original GS ball that we had. Two, maybe find the second GS ball via Victini. Three, still requires checking out Victini to, you know, help win a potential fight. And D, talk the bastard out of it. 
Got it. Is there anything else that we are overlooking potentially? We still had a hey gods, what to do? We still had a handful of legendaries that like wanted you dead, Jade. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But How do I, I get the legendaries to like me? <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'm gonna get off of everyone's Cut. list probably ever. I mean, I was on their Cut. before everything went to Cut. Uh, the only thing I care about is maybe surviving this next year long enough to do things. The thing is, we will survive. I mean, because Zygarde's not hurting humans. He's hurting... he's taking away legendaries. Yeah, but you take away legendaries, all of humanity falls into utter chaos. Like, they control everything, so the, basically it's the end of the world scenario, so, you know, if we don't die saving the world, then yeah, great, wonderful. I mean, he could control, uh, probably Xerneas to just make new ones. Yeah, but how long is that gonna take? I don't know, but, I mean, we've been doing- Exactly. Pretty, we've been doing pretty fine without legendaries, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> They've still been running the shows back on the backside of things, there's still things they gotta, you know- I'm Zygarde, just saying. Zygarde is saying, and I don't mean to cause an argument. I'm just, I'm just intrigued because Zygarde's making a point that a lot of them aren't actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. No, they're not. But that is also half the reason why we have so many trouble. What we, what we need is a. I mean, I'm hoping that this gear whips them back into shape. Some of the the ones that are obviously not doing. That That's my job. point. My point is that we need these legendaries if we do want to save them to acknowledge the fact that this is happening because they're not doing their jobs. Well, we could just threaten, you know, if they want to go ahead and die, we just don't, we just... I mean, I don't think we should threaten, but we should just... No, 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 threaten you is not help. Like, what we, what, we what we do is, you know, say, hey, you want to join the fight? You want to save? Blah, 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 this is what we're doing. You don't want to help us? You're dead. You're lost. I mean, yeah, got a... Is Zygarde that powerful to destroy? Because someone is saying, like, he'll destroy... Dialga and Palkia and all of reality will die. Is Zygarde that powerful to reach up and get them? Uh, well, I wow, mean, what an even epic even that Prism was... points out um, the Zygarde and or like Palkia and Dialga left. Like, uh, and yeah. Oh God, Prism, I thought you were in. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. only oh, the me. only the only one left of the creation trio is. And then he points up at Giratina, and then he, he perks up again. Yeah, speaking of which, how is that working out? And the realm rulers uh, are kind of looking a little nervous at this. Yeah, because yeah, Palkia and Dialga, they've done one, haven't they? Uh, Cresselia points out the the top realm rulers, Palkia and Dialga, have both left, and they've walked through the Door of Origins, realms that we cannot enter. So at the moment, the only one left to balance the universe past our temporary fix is Giratina. And Giratina gives a really, like, shitting grin and he's like, oh, I guess I'm in charge. Well, I mean, there's nothing, there's... <laughs> it's not like we're doomed either way! <laughs> Sorry, this is a dream timeline, correct? <laughs> uh, no, they mean everything. Remember, the universe is being held together by duct tape and a wish right now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, what is, what is this? Yeah, how come we're not into therapy right now? <laughs> it was, it was, you know, it was flex tape. That's tough to It was do. flex tape. Flex tape. Flex tape. <laughs> Granted. Well, I, I mean, better Giratina than anything else that's more unbalanced. I can't think of anything more balanced and fair than death. Flex tape is so strong, it even <laughs> works in international, in interdimensional schisms. <laughs> 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 the leak is gone. <laughs> oh my god. Regardless, I would still Look rather prefer if Zygarde wasn't around to do this little apocalypse work for the legendaries. I saw the universe in half. <laughs> <laughs> so what does that have to do with tape? I'm just saying I am very much pro taking down the bastard. Prism perks up. It's like, I'm down for taking him out too. That sounds way more convenient than trying to convince literally everyone on the planet to hold hands and sing Kumbaya. Uh, that's a very fair point. I will take that I, point. I could, I could try and do that, you know. Oh. Oh, I just want peace. Yeah, and a puppy. And puppies. Uh, peace obviously, and puppies. you can't have both. That's how we got into this mess in the first place. That was a bit of, oh. of PMP. <laughs> Amber perks up with with her hand and says, "I'm kind of on team puppies here." 
Yay, Team Bubby! Oh. Like, I, you know, we've only been at this for a few months, and literally the universe has been destroyed, put back together, reassembled, uh, Phil Swifted. Um, like, I, at this point, I'm pretty <laughs> sure we can take... I'm pretty sure we can do this. This isn't... I'm not going to say it wasn't difficult, but <laughs> it's definitely doable. My, my... The probabilities are not in the favor for it. I'm just saying that maybe we should put a priority on whatever plan seems most viable in the moment. Team Peace Puppies, let's go! Yeah, I mean, we have enough of us, so if we need to scatter to the winds and work on each part of whatever plan we want to work on to see what works, because the best ch case scenario, the best chances we have is to actually ready as many of what we can and go through them one by one. So if you want to go around and invent some and help with others, that, that I think that's great, but I am going to do something that I will find practical for me, because I can't, let's face it, I will be god-awful at that. And, uh, I'm <laughs> you, going you to go You won't be good for team puppies? I, I mean, I, what, I would get more people to hate us more than I would be doing three times the work sitting in a lab and trying to fix a GS ball, then trying to go talk to other people and convincing them that the warm and cuddlies. Uh, it, it doesn't seem like my, it doesn't seem very viable for, is what I'm saying. So team team let them fight over here. Prism holds up his hand. Uh, <laughs> you have different teams, what? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm for I'm team whatever will work. How about that? I mean, I'll just help you prepare what I, you know, I need a command center is what I need. Lobby's like what? I'll do a fight. I like fighting. <laughs> Lordy. 